Yeah, hello and welcome to the first modeling uh, video here. So let's get started with uh, something simple like the front tire. And the cool thing here, I mean, that's a little bit lame, but uh, the cool thing is we have some kind of a wireframe in the background. So let's um, yeah take this as a reference. Um, I'm modeling this on the fly, as I mentioned before. So let me think for a second. So we could we could just take a polygon pipe to create this. Or we could do this with a uh, with a Taurus. Let's uh, let's get started with the polygon pipe. Um, yeah, so let's open up the channel box here and let's rotate that guy in Z ninety degrees, and then let's bring it roughly into its position. Just move it here. Let me frame in on that. So I hit F on my keyboard to frame in. Bring it down here. Center it up just a bit like that. All right, um, let's go to the top view. And what I could do is turn off that grid. I mean, I've got a button here on my shelf, uh, turn grid, grid on and off. So for all of you um, who don't have that button here on the shelf, should be under display here. Um, so if you hit Control and Shift and then left click on that, you will have that same uh, grid button here on your shelf as I have. So let me click on that and turn off that grid. So let's move this guy here, um, somewhere here. And then let's uh, go to the side view and let's turn on uh, X-ray mode here. So click on that button. And then go to the inputs here, and let's uh, change the radius to. So I click here on radius, and then uh, middle mouse, and uh, to fine tune that, uh, just hit Control and then middle mouse. So bring it somewhere here. So that's where the rim ends and the tire starts here. Oops, let me undo that. Hit Z, and then let's uh, change the thic thickness here. So not the thickness. Uh, so I click on thickness and then uh, hit uh, again control on middle mouse. And then we might want to scale the radius out to the auto portion of the tire, somewhere about here. And then again click here on thickness and mid uh, control middle mouse and drag it somewhere here. So we get uh, 20 divisions here, subdivisions on the axis. And I think it looks like it's half of uh, what uh, the original is, but I think that's going to work fine. Um, now we have to, yeah, let's go in and let's in insert here under the input some subdivisions on the caps. Um, it's let's count that one, two, three, four, five. Let's try th something like five. Okay, this is going up. And let's let's just uh, take six. All right. So with the six subdivisions on the caps, um, let's uh, first go to the top view, and I'm turning on X-ray mode here as well. And yeah, it's looking good so far. Let's um, hit R to scale that guy, scale it in, move it a bit, and X. So I'm really looking at the edge flow of that wireframe here. Okay. Yeah, let's get started by, um, it's always um, good to know, so if you hit Q on the keyboard, so um, that's how you can exit the last tool. So in this case, uh, I was, I'm was i using the scale tool, and if I don't want to accidentally click on that, so I hit Q, and then I'm exiting that last tool. So I'm going here, right click edge mode, and then double click on that edge loop here. And then let's move that guy from the top view first. And move it here over that wireframe, on that over that line. And then let's uh, scale that up somewhere about here. Doesn't have to be exactly on the background image. I mean, those images are just a tiny bit off, but I think that's gonna work. Okay, so 
Next thing is, uh, thing is uh, I hit Q again, and then double click on the next uh, edge loop here, if I can grab it. Okay, and then I'm going here to the top view as well, hit W to move that guy, bring it here over that, let me bring it here, and then again scale that guy up. It's a kind of bit complicated way to create this tire, but I, I, I think it's going to work out. And before I start over taking a Taurus, uh, I'm going to finish this up here. So all I do is uh, select those edge loops, bring those into position, and then scale those up so that we have the rough shape of the tire. If we are not happy with that, we can go in later on uh, and uh, tweak that. It's just to have a rough shape to get started with something here. Okay, and then scale this guy up as well. Okay, so now we um, have some edge loops left here. Double click on that, hit the W, and then I think I'm gonna move it to the same uh, X position as uh, this edge loop here. So all I do is um, I move this guy first in X and then hold down V and then middle mouse over one of those vertices here and it snaps to that point. Yeah, I think that's that's okay. So let's check it out from the side view. Yeah, we're a little bit off here, but that's not a big deal. That's really not a big deal. So let's um, go to edge mode, uh, hit Q, double click on this edge loop here, hit W to move, and then I mean those F1 tires are not looking like a like a car tire they're a little bit more I would say balloon type a little bit more like like car tires but yeah like I said before I, we can tweak that later on if we want to so yeah let me go with this one here and then what I could do is um, go to face mode Again, I hit Q to exit that move tool, and then select one of those faces here, and then shift, double click to the next face, and that uh, is going to select the face loop in this case. So with that face loop selected, let's just uh, delete that, because that's where the rim is sitting later on. We don't need those faces. And now let's uh, do the same here on the other side. Go to edge mode, double click here on that edge loop, or double click on one edge and it selects the edge loop and then let's uh, move this guy in X and let's take a look from the top view uh, let's move it here to this edge and then scale it up somewhere about here and then again hit Q I'm still in edge mode so I'm let me uh, um, oh, uh, frame this here so that you can see it better so I double, double click on this edge loop here and move it here to the corresponding edge on the wireframe in the background. Scale it up, hit Q, double click on this edge loop, hit W, move this guy here. It's just a rough shape. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. So hit Q, hit W here on, on this edge loop move this guy somewhere about here and scale it up let me check that out here might want to move it out a bit more all right and then we have still two edge loops we have to move so hit w move this guy out and i will do the same thing as i did on the other side um, move this in x and then V and middle mouse over one of those vertices here it snaps it to that point, so it's point snapping and then hit Q, move and double click on that edge here to select that edge loop and bring it somewhere here okay, if we need more detail later on we can, we can insert that so let's check that out, um, hit a 3 on the keyboard to see how that's looking smooth yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. I mean, we could, like I said before, we could tweak that later on if we want to. Okay, so this is um, going to be the first piece that we made. Yippee! Um, 
so we have at least something done here um, and then in the next video I think I'm gonna start modeling um, that rim here okay so see you in the next video